Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this uh, evening's update on Winter Storm Diaz. So in this video, I'm going to be uh, timing out the storm uh, for the next couple of days. I'm going to be showing you the snowfall totals across the United States and toward the end of the video. Or, and then I'm going to show you the National Weather Service's watches and warnings. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to show you the uh, materializing severe weather outbreak that is likely across Dixie Alley on, on Tuesday. So let's get into it. Looking at the GFS model, the 18Z run, we got snow moving across uh, areas like Idaho and Utah and Arizona as of 9 p.m. this evening, Central Daylight Time. And as we go into uh, tomorrow, tonight, I should say, the snow is going to move across uh, continue across Utah, move across the Grand Canyon areas of Arizona with lingering snow across Oregon. And then as we go into Monday morning, snow will move into western Colorado and New Mexico. And going into Monday afternoon, it will continue to move across New Mexico, Colorado, and Arizona. Now once we hit uh, Tuesday morning around 1 a.m., this is where the uh, blizzard is going to start to develop across areas of Colorado and then Nebraska and, and the Dakotas. We're going to have a powerful a mid latitude cyclone spin up east of Denver uh, around 1 a.m. Tuesday morning. And this is going to bring, uh, start bringing snow on the northwest side and storms on the eastern side. And as we go into four, 7, 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time. The heavy snow is going to spread all across uh, ne western Nebraska, central western uh, South Dakota, and much of North Dakota. Notice the tight isobars. There's going to be a lot of wind here as well, with many areas seeing wind gusts up to 55 miles per hour. So make sure you're preparing for strong winds as well. I would advise you do not travel at all on Tuesday if you live across the uh, North Dakota, Western, Central South Dakota, and Western Nebraska or Northeast Colorado, as getting stranded in these kind of blizzard conditions could be deadly. Going into Tuesday afternoon, the blizzard will really ramp up across the Dakotas with snow spreading into Minnesota. And then as we head into uh, Tuesday evening, the snow will push more into the Dakotas, North Dakota, and northern Minnesota, and northern Wisconsin. And then as we head into overnight Wednesday, the uh, low pressure is going to start to weaken as it fills in, with snow showers lingering through the day Wednesday. And then the second event of the storm is looking more likely that we're going to be seeing snow across areas of Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, Vermont, and areas of western New England into Thursday with possibly freezing rain as well across areas of Maryland and Pennsylvania with uh, heavy snow going uh, Thursday night into Friday across areas of the northeast. Now looking at the snowfall totals for the system, the snowfall totals have increased since yesterday's update. A lot of areas in the Dakotas. So anywhere, if you live in the uh, the uh, gray, you can expect the dusting to two inches. The blues, you can expect two to six inches of snow. The purples, you can expect six to 12 inches. The uh, lighter pinks, you can expect anywhere from 12 to 18 inches. Darker pinks and oranges, you can expect anywhere from 18 to 24 inches. And then areas of these oranges and brighter oranges, you could now be seeing as much as three, even three and a half feet of snow. And this is going to be for areas of central western South Dakota, uh, western North Dakota, eastern Montana, eastern Wyoming. So this is going to be a lot of snow for this area. <coughs> 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 
Sorry about that. So make sure you pre uh, prepare accordingly. And looking at the Northeast, uh, it's looking like the, <laughs> the Northeast is going to be dealing with anywhere from uh, 2 to 18 inches of snow as well. So these snow, <coughs> snow totals have dramatically increased as well. Looking at the National Weather Service's uh, watches and warnings, we have a lot to talk about on this map. We have winter storm watches all across uh, the Dakotas, uh, areas of Montana and uh, Wyoming, uh, northwestern Nebraska, far northeastern Colorado, and much of Minnesota in the... <coughs> in, sorry, I'm, not, I'm trying not to cough. In the uh, blue areas here, we have winter weather advisories all across much of the Intermountain West from north to south in the purples. And then we have some isolated winter storm warnings in the pink areas. And in these uh, orange shaded counties, uh, we got four across northwest Nebraska and far eastern Wyoming. Uh, these are blizzard warnings. These are official blizzard warnings by the National Weather Service. So, uh, Please uh, pay uh, close attention and actually expect more blizzard warnings to be issued across uh, South Dakota and even North Dakota and Western Nebraska as uh, we get a cl uh, as we go into tomorrow. Looking at the uh, severe weather aspect, uh, looking at Monday, we have a marginal risk of severe weather extending from northwest Texas through western Oklahoma and western Kansas with a 2% tornado risk in the green area across western Kansas, Oklahoma, and northwest Texas. A 5% damaging wind risk. This is for a damaging winds within 25 miles of any given location. And same with hail. Uh, this is quarter size hail or larger. A 5% chance within 25 miles of a given location. So make sure you are uh, preparing for isolated uh, severe weather of all modes if you live across these areas on Monday. And then looking at Tuesday, which is going to be the big outbreak day, um, the uh, National Weather Service is maintaining that enhanced risk across the northern half of Louisiana, uh, far western Mississippi far northeast Texas and has shrunk it to more far southern Arkansas now in the orange with a slight risk in the yellow and a marginal risk in the dark green surrounding that. And for the probabilities of severe weather within 25 miles of a given location on Tuesday, we have a 30% chance in the enhanced risk area for areas like Shreveport and Al Alexandria, Louisiana a 15% chance within 25 miles of a location in the yellow shade area and a 5% chance in the brown shade area. And then we have a we have a hatched area and this is going to be a 10% chance of seeing significant severe weather within 25 miles of a location which is uh, tornadoes of EF2 or stronger, winds of 70 miles per hour or stronger, or hail of two inches in diameter or larger. So this is gonna be a pretty big severe weather day. So make sure you prepare for uh, numerous severe weather if you live in the uh, orange shade area on, on Tuesday. So thanks for watching this evening's uh, weather update on winter storm Diaz. I will continue to update you guys as the days progress on this uh, increasingly impactful blizzard. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful evening, my friends.